Hello and welcome back to our Elite Dangerous Let's Play Poorly. We are here in our hauler. Let's see if we can find something to do. Maybe a mission, a hauling mission, or possibly some stuff to, to carry around. We're going to use the interface the way the interface wants to be used rather than trying to use the interface the way it should be used. And we're still I'm still not going to be using the external sources, uh, external resources, um, in RO, whatever they're called. I, I probably will at some point. But at this stage, I still want to kind of try to stay within the game. As soon as I go outside of the game, it's going to be a little disappointing for me. And I'm still kind of on the fence to whether or not I enjoy Elite at this point. Uh, so far, so good. But I got to say, interface and visuals are really doing the heavy lifting for me right now. See what we got for, for, for uh, transport missions. Uh, that's going to Colonia. I, wow, these are very far away. Um, okay, that's a courier job to Vafthruva. That's seventeen point eight five light years away. You know, with the, one of the things that'll happen if we can get far enough away, we can start selling our data. So, I think, assuming. Assuming I even know what I'm doing with that. So we're just, we're going to go ahead and grab this courier job, I think. I'm going to go to Gentle Platform. These are, what are the, what do we need to do? Interesting. These are to liberate two bootleg liquors. What does that involve? Hmm, I'm guessing... Oh, it requires the SRV. Yeah, which uh, I don't have on this ship, right? I think that's correct. I don't have it on this one. I have it on the Sidewinder. Okay. And then on this one, we have to deliver hydrogen fuel. Can I even pick up that much? This cargo is unique to the mission, cannot be replaced if lost. Threat level 5. Mmm, not sure what that means. Alright, let's, uh... Let's do this one. Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to go there and back and there and back. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. All right. Well, uh, yeah, let's do that. Where do we need to be? What is, what's, uh... Okay, I do like that we can do that plot route there. So we need to go to that one first. That's two jumps. Easy peasy. And then we're going to have to do it again. Game's running a little bit slow for me right now. It's the frame rate is a little bit down. I think it might be because I'm uploading in the background, which I probably should have waited on. That's all right. We'll make do.
All right. So yeah, in fact, I, I, I will get used to this, but I, I just keep remembering that um, I, uh, I really love Ulit, and I am definitely going to get back to that. Hopefully before the end of the year, I'll start a run on that because they, uh, the, the the reason that I had to stop the last one is because the goods container, the pylon goods container mod, uh, just stopped working and caused caused problems. And it turns out there was a workaround that I didn't read. And on top of that, the dev has gone ahead and made a bunch of new ones uh, that have even higher cargo capacities, which is fantastic. doing here. Oh, I don't want to exit. Um, uh, so yeah, so so that means I'll be able to get ships that can hold a lot more cargo, sort of like they do in Elite. Dangerous. Because uh, that was one of the, I don't want to say limitations of Elite, because that is it was designed to be that way, but it's even more about being in little Volkswagen Beagle, Beetles instead of big semi-trucks in that game. So, why am I... Uh, why am I flying there this way? I'm a little confused. I don't want to go there. I want to go to... I am here, right? Or no, am I here? Where the heck am I? What the heck? Oh, I'm down here. Oh, I was I over there? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to here. All right, let's cancel this route. Let's try this again. Oh, we are going to Walsu. Okay, I wasn't. I, I hadn't noticed that. Right. That's cute. Why is? I am in. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, I hit the. Ah, uh, it's my bad. That's me. That's on me. I hit the wrong button. Want to be flying for 18 days. I hit my super cruise button instead of my uh, witch space button, whatever you call it. So for a second there, I thought I was having to deal with going between two stars in the same system, which is always a nuisance and a half. But I was not having to do that. Which is great. There we go. I don't know if using the honk is going to do anything. Frame shift drive charging. Yeah, I I still really enjoy the immersiveness of the game. Which is why I'm hesitant to use an external spreadsheet. Although I am a little bit hypocritical here, I don't, uh, and I admit that freely, I love Universal Combat because it is highly immersive to me, and yet I am very comfortable using a spreadsheet over there. But I think that's partly because the game is, it's not that it's janky, but that it is, it is the embodiment of jank in a way. I don't know how best to explain it, but basically it's the kind of game that you kind of expect to need to have external resources or an external spreadsheet. And more to the point, it's it's the kind of game where you imagine that the pilot that you are essentially playing as would have an external spreadsheet. Because the game control because the the ship controls have these specific limitations that are kind of baked into the game itself as a sim, right? The game as sim. Whereas Elite Dangerous is more elegant. And so you would expect the ship systems and the galactic communications system to have included the data that you're having to go to an external source for. Right? I think that's really what it comes down to, is that in Universal Combat the the in-game systems 
feel like they have those built-in limitations that lead you to needing your own resources. And Elite Dangerous does not feel like it should have those built-in limitations as part of the game universe. Not as part of the game, but as part of the, the universe itself. It just feels like it should be better. Then again, this is a game that has uh, that that has like autopilots that take up actual physical space. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe I'm just being mean. Honestly, it probably is that. It's just because I had such bad time with Elite Dangerous before, and I'm probably just being a little bit snarky. No, no, fuck! I was warned. Threat level five. They warned me. Serves me right for being snarky. Come on, come on, come on, come on! This isn't that bad, actually. I'm able to get there, I think. Oh, that was bracing. Yeah, so I probably will go with the external resources at some point. I'll have to figure out how to do it because I don't think I want to do it in on the desktop computer because then I'll be bouncing back and forth. And I have a feeling Elite isn't really going to be super comfortable with me t alt tabbing. Um, at least not on a regular basis. So I'll probably have to set it up on my uh, on my laptop, which is actually also probably part of the problem itself is that I'll have to kind of. Jury rig something together to make that work. Oh god, what is wrong with me? Why do I keep overshooting these things? Again, that's entirely on me. At least it's not pulling me out of Super Cruise or something. Also, I needed to be on this side of the planet, <laughs> uh, side of the moon anyway. All right, this is going to be on the. This is not going to be a station. This is in. This is a. Uh, oh fuck. Oh, I'm going to the Ross Silo over here. So am I going in at the right angle? I hope so. And in fact, now that I think about it, it might actually be a way of creating and preserving immersion to have the secondary systems, the, the web-based uh, data, on my laptop, off to my side, so that I can imagine that I'm doing it from the cockpit. Right? That, that that's critical to me. That's like that is why I'm playing Elite Dangerous because the gameplay itself is not what appeals to me, right? What appeals to me is the... is the feeling. It really is all about a feeling for me, and I really want to preserve that. I want to keep that going. Because if I don't have that feeling, I won't want to continue playing. The space trucker lifestyle, as it were, is, is what I'm after. So... So if I can't make it work right here, then I'll just do it in X4. I'll just do another space trucker run in X4. So, you know. All that to say, this is a lot of this is a lot of excuses for saying uh, I I will probably do the thing that everybody else does at some point in the future. And I will stop complaining about how the game does things. Which hopefully I wasn't complaining this time. It's mostly just like, hmm, what do I want to do to you know, take care of... Okay, so someone said to me that I have a flashlight. That I have some kind of a infrared or something, and I don't think I have it bound to anything, so... I don't know. Is it, like, maybe F? Maybe L? Nope. Okay. I'll have to figure that out. Wow, it's taken me now 15 minutes just to get here. Again, that's not a complaint. Just saying... Uh, but it's and it's going to take me some more time. Uh, so yeah, the run back and forth is actually not going to happen. I don't think in a single, in a single episode. We'll see. And that could present problems. I don't know if in uh, solo play, time stands still when you're not logged in, 
if anybody knows, please let me know because uh, a lot of these missions are time limited. And if I exit, come back later, am I going to have lost the mission? I feel like I came in a little bit too far away. I glide. I did the glide at too shallow an angle this time. Zorgan Peterson, Alpha Romeo, Quebec. A docking request must be supplied before access can be granted. Every boost gains me 20 seconds. So this is still going to be painfully slow no matter what I do. Landing pad six, it said. Okay, that's down here. Oh boy. This is only gonna be my like second or third manual dock. I know that there are people who can do this like in one smooth movement. Absolutely cannot. Oh, thank you. I absolutely cannot do that. Ta da! Yay! Okay. Let's get more fuel. Is that done? Okay, that's done. Now we have to go back to... Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... God, I hope it tells me where... Yes, it tells me where I was. go back there, right? Please tell me that's where I was. No! Wait. Oh, crap. This is where I am now. That's where I was? Okay, yes. That's where I was. Damn it.
I guess that's right. I don't know. We'll find out. Feels right. That feels like I, that is correct. Like that, I can use that the map to track the start, the origin, and the destination. You would think I would expect that to be the case, right? Because if you have to do multiple trips, there should be a way to know where you were, unless you have like they expect you to write it down, <laughs> which eh, you know. Okay, let's see. Oh, but this is on. Oh fuck! That's right. This is on the other side of this plant, of this moon. Alright, here we go. Drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. No! Oh, I did it again. Alright, Kevin, you're not gonna do that anymore. You're gonna not do that. You're gonna figure it out. Oh damn it! In the wrong button. All right, we're gonna go away from the planet, from the moon, or whatever it is. I guess it's a moon. There, okay, that's the edge of it. We need to go away. I guess if we go at 90 degrees, that'll help. Now, can we roll around? Please let me roll around. Okay. Uh, it's still there. Okay. There it is. Ah, look at me being an elegant. Ah, oh, I missed it. Ha! <laughs> trying to see if I could honk, but nah. I don't think I need to. Still not 100% sure what the value is in doing that, or if there is none. Oh boy, every time. Every time. Makes me panic just a little bit. Frameship drive charging. Yep, yep, I know. I know, I know it's hot.
Oh, wait, hang on a second. That's not... If I need, uh... Oh, shoot. I need the specific... Uh... There. That's what I need. That was gonna be embarrassing. Better angle this time around. Orbital flight engaged. Okay, this feels better. This feels like I'm doing it right. No. Damn it. I'm still way too far away. All right, well, 20 seconds, I can live with that. That's amazing. Look at me being awesome. Docking request granted. What the hell? I did not expect to do such a good job with that. I hope I've learned how to do it. I hope I hope that wasn't a fluke. Cuz that was quick. All right, now do I have to go around the other way? Oh my god. I am a pro. The items. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Oh, balls. <laughs> I did my math wrong. I was so excited. I thought I only had to do it in two. But no, I have to do it in three. Unless. Nope, no ship services. Well, I'm definitely not going to be able to do it all in this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and test whether or not time pauses on missions when you're in solo play. I suspect they don't, but I hope they do. Because if they do, then I can complete the mission. If I don't, if they don't, then it's, yeah, we're just going to come back in next time and it's going to be a mess. But that's all right. We'll live with it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.